joining GLADS. I'm Dee Contreras. And I'm Abby Lorbecki, and this is your KWHS News. If you still haven't turned your federal aid card in, what are you waiting for? Cards were due on October 13th. Please turn your cards in immediately before you face consequences. Attention juniors and seniors. Some really great colleges are visiting us this month. Tuesday, the University of Denver checks in. And on Wednesday, November the 9th, the Savannah College of Art and Design will be with us. Rounding out the week is Lamar Community College on Thursday, November the 10th, and CSU Fort Collins wraps up the month with a visit on November 17th. Make your plans early to check in with these early college reps by getting a pass from the counseling office. Are you a hairdresser? Mr. Sickmiller and Mr. Cummings are growing their hair out to donate, and the time has come to cut it off. Those of you who bought blue tickets, please remember to be in the quad to see if you are the lucky winner to cut off Mr. Sickmiller or Mr. Cummings' hair. We will see you then. Time to find out what we're having for lunch. Miss Betsy? Happy Friday, everybody. Woo! We, another week down. Today we're having homemade vegetable soup. So come on and see us. Thanks, and have a great day. Bye-bye. Oh, that sounds really good. I'm hungry already. Glads, are you ready for an extra hour of sleep? I know I am. Daylight saving time ends this weekend. Remember to set your clocks back one hour on Saturday night or Sunday morning. Seniors, filling out your FAFSA forms just got easier. Come to the Senior Parent Financial Aid and FAFSA night on Tuesday night at 6 p.m. on November 15th. It will be here in the library, and PPCC is sending us experts to help us navigate the FAFSA process. Bring tax information and maximize this opportunity. If you have any questions, contact Mr. Hall in the Counseling Center at this number or by this email. The Gladi actors are presenting The Giver, a story about a boy stuck in a strange world where the government controls everything. Shows are scheduled for November 17th through the 19th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. The cost is $5 for students and 7 for adults. Come see how Jonas finds his path. Now here's the sports team with your sports update. Good morning, Glads. I'm Dylan Ham, And I'm Elijah Clark. This is your Gladiator Sports Update. If you missed the boys' basketball meeting last week, please see Mr. Munoz for details. Glads, if you are planning to play a winter sport, please stop by the main office to get a yellow card or get a physical packet if you haven't filled one out yet. Winter sports practices start on November 11th. Spirit shirts are on sale for $10 for the last day. If you wore your shirt today, you will be entered into a contest for a $30 Bubba's 33 gift card. After Friday, they will be $15. Stop by Miss Ship's room 202 to purchase your shirt. The last football game of the season is tonight as we take on Pueblo West at Cyclone Stadium. And finally, congratulations to the Chicago Cubs for winning the World Series after a 108-year drought. The curse is over. I'm Dylan Ham, And I'm Elijah Clark. Have a great weekend. Back to you, Dean Abby. Thank you, gentlemen. DECA is currently collecting pop tabs to help support Ronald McDonald House. By donating, you are helping ill children have a safe place to stay during medical procedures and helping DECA secure a spot in nationals. Last year, we donated 17 pounds. We are aiming to donate 50 pounds of pop tabs this April. To beat the record, we will need 300 pounds. Will you help us get there? Donations can be dropped off at Ms. Hildebrand's mailbox or in room 159. Glads, are you into club? We have a new club on campus. If you have ever wanted to learn how to sew, you should see Mrs. Tucci in room 163 about joining the sewing club. They just started Tuesday and plan to meet every Tuesday from 3 to 4 p.m. And finally, we have a new segment this week where we introduce to you some of the unsung heroes who work behind the scenes. Today, we highlight Ms. Chandler, the Social Studies and English Department Secretary. Hey! Well, just thank you for welcoming me. If you ever have any questions, if you need anything, just come see me in room 211. Between 6.45 and 7 every day. Um, so I have multiple departments, so I try to check in with all of the teachers, see if they need any help with coffees or grading, or if they need me to put anything in their books for them. I started at Widefield in April. And then my favorite part of Widefield is probably the students, and again, the staff. They're always just very friendly. They ask how my day is. It was a very welcoming experience when I came here. Very just happy that they had someone, happy for all the help that I've been able to bring them. 
So my favorite part about this district is it really is a community. So if I need something from, say, Mesa Ridge, Discovery, Janitelle Sproul, I can always go to someone at that school and they are welcoming. They always are there to help. They're able to answer any type of questions I have. I have. So before this, I was an educational assistant in the WISP program at Venetucci. So when I was young, my dream job was to be a hairdresser. I don't know why, I just probably because I enjoy being around people and I like to mess with people's hair. Probably yes, because this is a position that deals with a lot of people and works with a lot of people. My mom's actually also a secretary, so I probably knew that I wanted to follow in her footsteps because she's my biggest inspiration. Miss Chandler sounds like a very adventurous lady. Stop by and visit her if you have a free minute. Thanks for all you do for WHS. That's it for this week, lads. Have a great weekend. I'm Abby Lorbecki. And I'm Dee Contreras, and this was your KWHS News. Come on, come on, turn the radio on. It's Friday.